How's it going, everybody? John here at Battlegrounds Gaming in Norwalk, Connecticut. Back at it again with another box opening video. This time we got Ammo Cat. So we're going to get right into it. We got 36 packs of goodies. Pretty excited for this set. Looks to be like a pretty wacky one. Might just shake things up. Well, let's see what we got in the box. Already loving the packaging and nice, nice steam to it. And we got some sparring mummies. Everyone's favorite kind of mummies. Some cycling cards and manticores. We got the supply caravan. The old cat. A lot of cats in this set. I'm a big fan of that. And deserts. Not a big fan of deserts, but cool card type. Got a minus one, minus one theme going on in the set as well. And one of my favorite mechanics, cycling, back in the set. We're just about to get to the uncommons now. We got Bone Picker. A pretty good card. One of my favorites. We got Stir the Sands. On crop champion, and for the rare, we got a mythic to start off cruel reality. Nice little curse to start off the box. It's a mythic right out of the first pack. Maybe not the best mythic, but uh, whew, good start. All right, going into the second pack, keeping the theme going with this. Nice Cycling Angel, Wing Shepherd. Essence Scatter, a nice reprint to see. <laughs> the old Ceridon. And some more cats with Flash, too. Big fan. Minotaur is another good tribe represented in this set. We got some zombies. The Center's Deliverance, Cartouche of Strength, and to the Uncommons, we got Trial of Ambition. Oketra's Monument. Another on crop champion, and for the rare we got Plague Belcher. That's pretty sweet. The little zombie theme going there. Right behind Cool Reality. So far, some pretty good packs open if you were interested in sealed. Two pretty good black rares. Up next we got Wing Shepherd. The front man of the packs, apparently. We got Festering Mummy. Pretty good. He's like a zombie version of Festering Goblin. We got Emberhorn Minotaur. Nice uh, exert card. You know, a, lot of, a lot of those in the set as well. And some new deserts. Cradle the Accursed to mix it up a little bit. For the Uncommons, we got Sacred Excavation. Kenra Charioteer. That's a, that's a good one. I like that guy. We got Cast Out. Pretty versatile card. And we got Gideon's Intervention for the rare. That is, uh, that's a good one too. I like that card a lot. Design wise, pretty interesting. A lot of potential. Also, some potential for disappointment. So excited to see how it plays out. But let's go right into the next pack. We got Forsake the Worldly, another uh, versatile cycling card. Pathmaker Initiate. Some more Exert cards and some big bugs. Can't have a magic set without some big bugs. A nice desert version of uh, your shimmering grottos and whatnot. We got By Force for one of the uncommons. We got Vizier of Tumbling Sands, Blood Rage Brawler, and Prepare to Fight. Solid rare. A lot of words on it, all in different directions, but a pretty sweet card nonetheless. Alright, going right into what looks to be our fifth pack. Let's see if we can keep the hits rolling. Essence Scatter, a strong start. Tormenting Voice, another nice reprint in this set. Spidery Grasp, one of my favorite cards to play with. Painful Lesson, Slither Blade, nice little unblockable guy. Gust Walker. Blazing Volley, and starting at the Uncommons, we got Hazaret's Monument. Nice cycle, 
like these guys a lot. We got Gale Strike. We got the Trial of Zeal. And for our rare, we got Liliana's Mastery. And a Foil Cartouche, Cartouche of Strength to round it out. So another black rare. It's a pretty good sealed pool so far, if I do say so myself. But let's keep it going. All right, we got Forsake the Worldly again. Seeker of Insight. Some of these guys you may remember at this point. Like my man Emberhorn Minotaur. He's an all-star. like that guy a lot. Scribe of the Mindful. Haven't seen a lot of them yet. Let's get to these uncommons. See what we got. We got another Kenra Charioteer. A True Heart Duelist. That's a cool one. With Embalm. We haven't seen a lot of Embalm cards so far. Seraph of the Suns, and for the rare we got Approach of the Second Sun, which is, uh, well, it's got a paragraph on it, must be good, it costs 7 mana, but uh, it does say win the game on it, among that paragraph. I'd like to see some, some of that in Constructed, however unlikely that might be. Alright, moving on to the next pack, we got Manticore of the Gauntlet. Looks like he's ready to get out of that pack already. Some more Minotaurs. Compulsory Rest. Pretty interesting take on the whole pacifism mechanic. We got Trial of Strength. Shadow Storm Vizier. And Neheb the Worthy. And a foil Glorybound Initiate. Whoa, that's a pretty sweet pack with a full art land just for some extra... Little cherry on top, so it's a pretty sweet pack. Always nice to get foil rare and a rare, both of which I enjoy. All right, well, let's see what this next pack has. Has a lot to live up to, but Manticore the Gauntlet, a strong start. <laughs> we got some good commons in here. A hyena pack. And for the uncommons, we got Wayward Servant, Consuming Fervor, and Grave Digger. Nice, nice. But what's the rare? That's what I want to see. And it's Channeler Initiate. Some good stuff there. Pretty interesting card. I'd like to see how that pans out and constructed as well. I don't know. Some of these new cards are, you know, pretty different. It's hard to evaluate since there aren't many cards like them. Speaking of which, Naga Oracle. It's a good one. Cartouche of Zeal. Haven't seen a lot of those. Another Cartouche, this time of Ambition. A Cradle of the Accursed. Electrify. Labyrinth Guardian. It's a pretty interesting card. Uh, I like it personally. You got Renewed Faith. And Gravedigger. Back at it again. And for the rare, we got a Mouth to Feed. Another uh, one of the cards with Aftermath. Makes a hippo, and then draws you a card for each uh, creature with power three or more you control. But we got a foil sacred cat, so uh, <laughs> sorry, mouth to feed. I'm a little more into that foil sacred cat. <laughs> we have to get that one later. My cat tribal deck. All right, let's see. What this next pack has we got some cartouches. To start out. Another spidery grasp, another cartouche with an interesting print on it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. A lot of splotches on the ink. All right, we got the Trial of Strength starting out the uncommons. The Ruthless Sniper, Stir the Sands, and we got Irrigated Farmland for the rare with a foil, Watchful Naga. So that's interesting. Our first rare to land. I like, I like the, uh, their take on the rare land cycle, basic land types with cycling. And as I mentioned before, probably numerous times, cycling a pretty f favorite mechanic of mine. So interested to see how those play out. Much like Supply Caravan, definitely interested to see how that plays out. And Giant Spider, finally back in standard after a short hiatus. All right, we got Gift of Paradise. Wasteland Scorpion and starting out the uncommons, we got Consuming Fervor, Devoted Crop Mate, Scaled Behemoth, and for the rare, we got Harsh Mentor. Nice.
nice card. I was pretty excited when they spoiled that one. He looks, uh, he looks like a pretty good red card there. Really punishes the things that red does not like people to do. And effectively. Alright, we got some jackals. Some mummies. And some nagas. Really sums up the set in those three cards right there. Tormenting voice. Festering mummy. Another camel. Got unburden. Unwavering Initiate and Trespasser's Curse with Final Reward running out the commons. We got Cryptic Serpent, Decimator Beetle, Exemplar of Strength, pretty interesting card. And for the rare, we got Gideon of the Trials. All right. Well, we had his intervention, and there he is. Gideon of the Trials. Super awesome looking planeswalker a lot of people saw that card spoiled and said oh there he goes Gideon back at it again still in standard all right well moving on though we got the classics your supply caravans your manticores of the gauntlets your wasteland scorpions let's get to the good stuff we got Kefnitz monument grasping dooms uncommon version of the desert cycle Destined to lead, and for the rare, we got some voice of descent. This guy is, is a bunch of words on him. Gotta be good. More words, the better. You know, that's, that's my rule of thumb for the for the magic cards. That's a lot of keywords. What is that? Vigilance, haste, double strike, flash. There's even a tap ability on there. Whew. All right, we got your man Fanbearer. Cancel, Thresher Lizard. We got we got some other ones in here. We got the Benefaction of Ronus. Haven't seen a lot of those. I would remember the name. We got Wayward Servants starting out the Uncommons. We got Limits of Solidarity. Even Wind Guide. And for the rare, Prowling Serpapard. It's an interesting card, to say the least. I think def definitely has some potential. All right, getting in, getting into the box now, pretty deep. Let's see if we can't continue the streak of good pulls. Sparring mummy is a sign of good things to come, I think. We got some more cats, some evolving wilds. Synchronized strike to start at the uncommons. We got faith of the devoted, trial of knowledge, and for the rare we got failure to comply. It's an interesting split card. To go along with the other interesting split cards, are, I feel like they're designed pretty well. well. You know, different enough that they're not exactly like the fuse cards, sort of uh, designed to be played one after the other, which can lead to some interesting cards for sure. All right, starting out this pack, we got some familiar commons. Nothing too crazy here. Got Cartusha Strength, True Heart Twins. Time to reflect. Trial of Zeal, and for the rare, we got Never to Return. So you see the reimagining of the classic three mana planeswalker removal with a little bit of split card spice thrown in. And uh, looks pretty interesting. As interesting as a removal spell can look. All right, we got Nimbleblade Kenra back at it in the front of the pack. Magma Spray, a solid reprint. We got Nefcrop Entangler. I haven't seen a lot of those. Vizier of the Remedies, a lot of talk about that. Uncommon. Merciless Javelinier. And Oketra's Attendant. Hiding the wonderful rare that is Temet, Vizier of Not Common. And a foil. Italis Vizier. So, uh, well, it's all right. Not thrilled with that guy. I, uh, I like to see him in action, though. You know, my first thought when I saw him is EDH, but it's hard to embalm a token with the same name as your commander. So we'll see what happens. Speaking of see what happens, though, let's get to this pack. These guys we all recognize at this point. I'm trying to see. We got Open to Wonder, 
Trial of Ambition, Shadow Storm Vizier, and Glory Bound Initiate. Our second of the box. Still pretty excited to see how that guy plays out in standard. Awesome looking. If you can manage to exert him fairly regularly. Still awesome upside to the, you know, the old quarter paladins and what have you. Two mana three ones. All right, we got everyone's favorite quarry hauler and some uh, some other little, little misprints. We got Lord of the Accursed, another zombie lord for all those zombie fans out there. I'm sure there's a lot of those. Start to finish, Watchers of the Dead and Regal Karakul. That's a lot of cats for one pack, but I'm not complaining. Just more cats in my cat tribal deck. Alright, going right into the next pack, we got Jiru's Resolve, seen a lot of him, Blazing Volley, some more Deserts, Patra's Mask, it's a pretty interesting one, I haven't seen a lot of those yet, Seraph of the Suns, Gale Strike, and Archfiend of Ifnir, the, the classic, the trademark demon of the set, it's a pretty interesting card. Definitely look that one up. I think he, uh, he's got some potential. And uh, you know I'm a fan of potential. That's why I keep opening these packs. The potential foil mythic in the back. Let's get past some cartouches and some cursed minotaurs. Some hyena packs. We got manglehorn. Weaver of currents. Baleful amethyst. And Sheltered Thicket. It's a second of our rare lands. This time of the red-green variety. Definitely, uh... That's a good one. I believe that I classifies as a good one. Alright, going right into the next one. We got Cancel. Everyone's favorite spell. So we got Haze of Pollen. Another awesome cycling card. Gives you a lot of options. Yeah, Open into Wonder. Embalmer's Tools. On Crop Crasher. And for the rare, we got Insult to Injury. One of the red split cards. Definitely a pretty sweet one. You know, like the other cards, kind of designed to work with itself. But, uh, Just interesting to see how they manage to design the cards with it being mono red. But we got another Benefaction of Ronus, Winds of Rebuke, Trespassers Curse, and Ronus's Monument, Battlefield Scavenger, Merciless Javelinier, and there he is, the mythic Glorious End. End the turn. At the beginning of your next end step, you lose the game. It's an awesome card. Definitely excited to see that reprinted. I don't think they've made a version of that in uh, the last decade at least. So I'm excited to see a little bit of Final Fortune working its way back in. <clears throat> All right. Keeping it going. We got the commons, as always. Who would have thought? Commons at the front of the pack. We got start to finish. Defiant Great Maw, Watchers of the Dead, and for the rare we got New Perspectives. That's something alright. New Perspectives. Oh wow, it's actually our first blue rare. You have to make a spot for that one. There he is. New Perspectives. Definitely uh, an interesting card to say the least. I'm hoping that we don't get any new perspectives after that one. Uh, all right, we got a uh, cartouche of knowledge, spidery grasp, cartouche of ambition, onward to victory, flame blade adept, reduce to rubble, and for the rare we got dread wanderer. Keeping up with the zombie theme, he is a good one for that deck, I would say. Always oh, gotta have good one drops. That's what I always say. Sometimes it's not true, but uh, thick on zombies, usually the case. We got Cancel. We got your Dune Beetles. 
Yeah, your cartouches of ambition and bone picker again, not a sweet uncommon. Renewed faith is an uncommon. Limits of solidarity and canyon slow. Whoa, hold on, forget that we got the invocation days. I almost forgot these existed, but uh, well, <laughs> I'm, I'm wrong, I guess that sure exists. Don't have a sleeve nearby, so we're just gonna put that right in there. Throw these other cards in the garbage. Get back to it. Oh man, can't beat that pack. Wish I saved it for last. But hey, that's pretty good. So we got your cats. We got your violent impacts. Yeah, we've, we've seen enough of these guys before. We already know what the deal is. But we got Shadow of the Grave. Pretty interesting card. To say the least, uh, definitely one of my favorite, more obscure rares. I think it's got some potential in some of the more wackier decks out there. Oh, man, Davis is actually a little too foil for the camera, but I think we'll get by. Alright, on to the next pack. What do we got? We got Ancient Crab. How can I get any better? Well, it turns out it doesn't. You start off too strong. Oh, we got Lay Claim though in the uncommons. Deem Worthy and Oracle's Vault for the rare. It's, uh, it's an interesting one. One of the more creative uses of the brick counter mechanic. Pretty good card if you are into limited. Alright, we got mm, some more packs to go though, so hold on. Hold on to something, man, because if these sacred cats keep if the sacred cats keep popping up, I don't know if I can handle if I can handle anymore. But Xena Seeker for the uncommons, we got six cents, a nice uh, sort of near reprint, some older green enchantments. We got Scaled Behemoth and Sweltering Suns for the rare. That's gonna go uh, probably behind Glorious End. Sweet card again, nice, elegant use of the cycling mechanic. Giving you those sweet, sweet options. All right. Hieroglyphic Illumination. Pretty interesting card. Cartouche of Zeal and Cartouche. Oh, can we do it? Almost. Three Cartouches in the pack. Not all five. But we got a Vizier of Remedies. Deem Worthy. Reduce to Rubble. And for the rare, we got Hepatra. Vizier of Poisons. It's a neat card. Let's see about making a, an EDH deck of that one, just because it's got a pretty neat effect. But not even bad in the format that we're going outside of that. Definitely keep an eye on that one. We got Anointer Priest. We got Hieroglyphic Illumination again. Cartouche. Two cartouches. We got Final Reward. Cartouche. Three cartouches. We got Watchful Naga, Spring to Mind, and for the rare we got Pyramid of the Pantheon. Put that over over here with the Oracle's Vault. Some good stuff. That card I think could be good in, uh, in Commander as well, but a little bit slow. I'm excited to see if uh, anyone figures something out with it. Alright, we got Mighty Leap. Another Ancient Crab. Ooh, this pack. Giant Spider. Sun Scorched Desert. We got your Hazaret's Monument. Warfire Javelinier. Trial of Knowledge. And Kefnet the Mindful. Foil Acclaim. That's sweet, man. We have not got a lot of blue rares, but uh, that's a good one to get. If I had to pick. All right. Getting down to the last bit of the box. Trying to keep it exciting. Fling, good way to start. Going back to the uncommons, we got Enigma Drake. Edifice of Authority, Trial of Solidarity, and for the rare we got Fetid Ponds. Pools, I'm sorry, they're Fetid Pools. And a Foil Magma Spray. Cool stuff. Foil, that foil magma spray is worth no. I'm gonna put him in there. Good, good stuff. All right, this is the last pack. 
coming up, oh, coming up is the third to the last pack. Let's see what we got here. We got Gift of Paradise, Wasteland Scorpion, Emberhorn Minotaur, Those Who Serve, Scribe of the Mindful, By Force, Sensor, Edifice of Authority, and Harvest Season for the Rare. Nice. That's a uh, pretty interesting card, too. Nice. Uh, it's a little new take on the ramp spell. I think it's a good one, though. All right. We got this pack and only one more after it, so let's see if we can end on a high note. Supernatural Stamina. Pretty good card. We got Bantu's Monument, Cephid Monitor, and Cascading Cataracts. Another... Rare land to add to our collection. That one, a uh, pretty interesting utility one. Sort of like a bunch of shimmering grottos taped together into one land with an indestructible tacked on for good measure. All right, we got Seeker of Insight, Fling, Anointer Priest. We got Binding Mummy. Get into the Uncons. We got another Lord of the Accursed, another nice zombie lord. Spring to Mind. Trial of Solidarity, and for the rare, we got Dusk to Dawn. Uh, probably one of the first cards spoiled. Only fitting, it's the last one to open. But overall, sweet box. Some nice pulls. We got the Days, of course. We got your man Gideon over here, hanging out. Looking jealous. We got a nice, solid box. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is, uh, once again, John at Battlegrounds Gaming in Norwalk, Connecticut. And uh, good luck with your boxes. Let me know if it's better than mine or don't.